Welcome to Altium Designer PCB Updates. Oftentimes there are design changes to the schematics that need to be transferred to the PCB already in progress. This module walks through the update process from schematics to PCB. The WC topping design required an update to the power supply section. The 5 volt supply needed to be beefed up and in addition we added a 3.3 volt supply rail. Looking at the original power supply schematics and then comparing them with the updated versions, we see there are a number of additions and deletions. The update from the schematics is initiated using the same method as the initial transfer, design, update PCB document. Of course, we would have already compiled and checked for errors before we did this. As the changes involved adding new components and replacing components while keeping the same old reference designators, the update process will generate a number of windows that indicate differences. This brings up an important concept within Altium. Every object has a unique ID, as you can see here. This is used to provide synchronization between the schematic and the PCB objects. If there are components with the same reference designators in the schematics and PCB whose unique IDs do not match, Altium will generate a warning as seen in this window. As we are updating the design, we can allow the tool to automatically update the links. The next window that pops up is generated by the new interconnection nets not matching the old circuit net names. Again, as we are doing a full update, we will not try to match any nets. The result would be the removal of the old net names and the addition of the new net names. Reviewing the ECO generated, remember to disable the new class deletion line as we have added this class in the PCB. As you can see, having all the classes defined in the schematics is much safer as it avoids possibly deleting an ECO that you created in the PCB. Executing the ECO, we place the new components into the PCB view off to the side. Now we need to place them. One feature that is helpful when unique IDs get out of sync between the schematics and the PCB is the Project Component Links tool. Opening up the Component Links window, we see nothing in the left and center sections of the window. That indicates that there are no mismatches between the components found in schematics relative to the PCB. If there were differences, we would see them listed in these sections. I always click on the Add Pairs Match By button and then click Perform Update. Even with nothing in these two sections, it may update some of the components if there were changes to the schematic sheet names, for example. I then save the PCB if needed. The unique IDs are the real identifiers in the unified data model for components as well as other objects. They are used when changes are made to the reference designators to keep the database in sync. Annotation is one such operation that changes the component reference designators that uses the unique IDs to facilitate the updates between the schematics and the PCB. Now that we have updated the PCB, we would need to place the new components using one of the many methods we looked at in the prior module. As the PCB has been mostly placed, and in some cases may already have routing started, I would normally use either manual placement or the cross-select component placement method for the new components. 